Timing in photography has to be very precise. Many times when I'm photographing a piece of architecture or location, I'll go back sometimes 5, 10, 15 times in different times of the day, different weather, to try and give another sense of the place. I just finished an incredible project visiting 12 iconic places of architecture around the planet, places that were utilitarian in nature, that really told the story of human engineering, human ingenuity. The objective was to show how profound, how beautiful these places were, and how meaningful they were to the cultures where they came from. The thing which was so fascinating to me was that they could have been made in a very kind of boring way, but the people who made them had this great imagination, great flair for art and beauty and design. And some of these locations, particularly this aqueduct, it was almost like a cathedral, beautiful arches, and it really takes your breath away because there's nothing for hundreds of miles around. One of my favorite locations on this project was Grand Central Station, New York City, which since I live here, kind of has a special place in my heart. Normally it's bustling, except for two hours in the middle of the night where it's completely shut down, completely empty. Suddenly the hero of the picture became the architecture and the design of the place. Travel and visiting new places, being able to compare and contrast different cultures, different countries, different locations, it really gives you a nice kind of a world view of what humans have achieved some of the beautiful places we've built in this world. There are a lot of connections between photography and watchmaking. Of course, photography and watchmaking is all about timing. It has to be right, it has to be perfect. And when it's perfect, it's beautiful. And inside these watches, which nobody ever sees, there's such beautiful craftsmanship and carving and everything. Like these locations we photographed, the designers decided that we're going to make this in the most beautiful way. Even with the Vacheron timepieces, they've done the same thing. Made something which could have been very ordinary and turned it into something which was spectacular and beautiful.